Hi, my name is Laura Kahn, and I'm excited today to be talking about research that predicts coffee futures with artificial intelligence. My research uses machine learning to predict daily coffee futures closing prices with an error of less than 0.005%, which has never been done before. Today I'll be talking about the motivation behind my project, its scope, how existing research is related, the data acquisition process, the analysis process, and the results. Did you know that we consume more than 2 billion cups of coffee every day? Or that the coffee is the second most popular traded commodity worth over $100 billion annually? I chose of how important and valuable coffee is. This project will forecast daily closing prices of coffee futures using open, high, and low prices. This research uses data science techniques to meet a business need of increasing profits. Although there is no known research of this scope, Montague inspired me to use daily high, open, and low prices as input variables and the closing price as the target variable. Abdullah uses neural networks and decision tree algorithms to predict oil prices with an error of 0.035%. Kin uses neural networks to predict daily stock prices with an error of 31%. Tiklavika uses Bayesian regression to predict monthly corn and hog commodities with an error of 4.8%. Shawan uses neural networks to predict hog and canola prices with an error of 0.0219%. Now that I've discussed existing research, I wanted to state my hypotheses. Open, high, low, and closing price are correlated to each other. Historical data of coffee futures can be used to more accurately predict daily closing price. Before I talk about the data acquisition process, I wanted to mention the data used was in the public domain and did not contain any personal identifiable information. Therefore, the reuse of the data does not violate any ethical principles. Learning about coffee futures was important to understanding the data. Environmental factors such as the temperature and rain were not included since no subject matter expert was available to quantify the relationship between these variables and future prices. There are 2805 days of coffee futures prices with four input features. Excuse me, three input features, opening, high, and low, and one target output feature of closing price. The data is from the New York Stock Exchange from January 1, 2010 through November 15, 2017, which trades coffee futures from 9.30 in the morning to 1.30 in the afternoon. The mean standard deviation, minimum, maximum, and 25th, 50th, and 75th percentiles are shown for each of the variables. The next part of exploring the data is to create a correlation matrix to see if and how each feature is correlated. Each square represents a feature. Variables that are positively correlated change in the same direction. All the features range from 0.998 to 0.9992, which means they are extremely positively correlated to each other. For example, when the opening price increases, so will the high price. Now that the relationship between variables has been quantified, I'll talk about applying artificial intelligence methods using machine learning to predict daily coffee futures. Regression models were chosen since we're trying to predict an exact value. Linear regression, decision tree regression with and without AdaBoost, and ridge regression were the machine learning models chosen since they're inexpensive to implement and easy to interpret. Each of the models was fitted with an 80%, 20% training and test data split. The goodness of fit or R-squared means was calculated. A high R-squared value means the model fits the data well and will predict the data more accurately. All of the models had an R-squared value of at least 0.749. In addition to the goodness of fit, it's important to calculate the prediction error of the selected models. Prediction error percent is measured value minus predicted value divided by the measured value and then multiplied by 100. The lower errors mean the algorithm is more accurate. As you can see from our results, the decision tree regression model is the most accurate. It is over six times more accurate than existing research. Based on the analysis, the hypothesis that opening, high, low, and closing price are correlated to each other can be accepted. Furthermore, historical data was used to predict daily closing price with minimal error, and this hypothesis can also be accepted. All four machine learning models 
had less than 0.0005% prediction error, so these results could be scaled to help predict future daily prices. As previously stated, an important result of this research is that the worst prediction error is more than six times accurate than existing research. The granularity of the analysis could be increased if identified as a business need to predict the futures price every minute of the trading day rather than just one time daily. This minute-by-minute -minute prediction would add about 98,000 additional price data points to the analysis. Following the results of this research, I would recommend implementing one or more of the aforementioned algorithms on a larger scale to predict daily coffee futures closing prices and increase profits. These data science principles and artificial intelligence techniques can be used to help in the decision-making process. Thank you for sticking with me to the end of the presentation. I look forward to hearing from you about ways to improve the research or potentially collaborate.